Because Karen and I were in um, Arizona, excuse me, in California a few weeks ago. I want to show you a picture. Uh, this is cancer in the breast of a lady. And um, you can see the doctor's, there's, she's taking a picture of the computer and they're, and they're looking at it. So this is cancer. Uh, we've come to declare that the Lord is Lord over cancer. The Lord is Lord over all sickness and disease. By his stripes, we are healed of the Lord, not only spiritually, but physically, emotionally, all of them. And so uh, I was there, I think it was in January, ministering in Bakersfield. Karen ministered this past August, um, just last month. And I called up with this lady and she said, you're not going to believe what happened to me. I had no idea until we were there. Watch this. You're going to like this. Hey guys, another great testimony. I'm with Marsha. We're here in Bakersfield, California. We came out here in January, did some immersions. You yep. came for a specific reason why. I was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer September of last year. Stage four breast cancer, uh, that was the diagnosis. What was their prognosis? Um, their prognosis was basically we were gonna just hit it with everything they had and see what happens. Um, they never gave me um, any indication as to what my result would be, though. They just said, we'll hit it with everything they have and, and see what happens. Stage four, that's pretty, that's pretty intense. That's pretty severe. And you heard about the immersions here happening at Tahila Church in Bakersfield. I did. Daisy, um, I work with her. She invited me. She's invited me to several things, actually, and I always refuse to come, but she sent me a couple of the videos um, of testimonies, and so based on that, I, I came, and I believed if he could do it for them, he would do it for me. Absolutely. <laughs> and so you got into the water that night. I did. And you had already, up to that time, taken four rounds of chemo. I did. And yet, after the immersion, you went back to the doctor. They ran another scan. What did he say? Um, well, initially he said my body was taking the chemo pretty hard, so that's why he wanted to take a break and see if he could lighten the dose of chemo. So in the meantime, I came and came to the altar, and then I got baptized, and then not a week later I had my PET scan, and when I went into the office to see him, um, he said it was remarkable that the cancer was undetectable on their scans. He did say that it was a, a minute chance that there was still some there, but the PET scan couldn't detect the cancer anymore. And that was immediately after your immersion? Immediately, yeah. Oh my goodness. From my oncologist and my surgeon, they were flabbergasted. Really? Yeah. Tell me more about that. What they what they re said. I want to hear what they said. What was their response? What was their like? Were they like, we can't believe this? He said um, he's never seen results like this before because my cancer was not just in my breast. It was in the lymph nodes and on my spine. So um, he was a little taken aback and you could see visible almost shock in his face but he said they've never seen results like that never wow yeah praise god praise god yeah. there's the last scan no cancer in her breast Thank you, Lord. It just gets better and better. Jesus gets sweeter and sweeter. 